Well, hello. This two-minute masterclass is quite different from our previous classes. First of all, it's not for you students. You can go back to your studies. This one is for your future boss. It is, however, for you if you are an experienced marketer and if you are occasionally perplexed, confused, frustrated even, as you pick your way through the maze which confounds every modern marketing manager. This masterclass is for you, whatever the title they've given you. Product manager, product marketing manager, digital manager, digital director, marketing manager, marketing assistant, marketing consultant, relationship manager, content manager, partner marketing manager, marketing officer, brand manager even. This one is specially prepared for you. This masterclass is also different in length from its predecessors. The challenges facing a career builder are complex, so this session is a fair bit longer than our normal two to three minutes. If you have ten minutes to spare, hang in there and join us. If not, save this gem for another day. We'll be here. But in one key respect, this class is similar to all our marketing classes, in that it takes us to a place seldom visited in this digital age. We travel to the very heart of marketing, the essence of what marketing is and always has been, what marketing is for and what marketing can do for business and for you. Let me ask you a few questions about what marketing means to you. This is a bit of an interrogation, so fasten your seatbelt. First, do you feel entirely comfortable with your career prospects? Do you genuinely, deep down, believe you market well, consistently and effectively? Are you even clear what marketing effectively means? Is your contribution as a marketer appreciated by your peers, bosses, clients, all those people on whom you depend for your success on the career ladder? Do you understand the fundamentals of marketing? What marketing is and what it is for? What marketing and only marketing can do and must do if it is to be judged effective by non-marketers in our stubbornly capitalist society? Digging deeper into those fundamentals, do you recognize that to be judged effective, the something that marketing does, and which only marketing can do, must be not just to sell, salespeople do that very well, must be not just to make a profit, financial people lay claim to that as they busily count the beans and cut costs, but marketing must be much more, to create and build value, to build the value of a brand, the value of a brand for its customers and consumers, of course, but also, and more importantly, to create and build the financial value of a brand for the benefit of the brand's owner or shareholders. And digging deeper still, is it clear to you how that value is created through the building of loyalty to a brand? And is it clear that the loyalty is built with two Ps, and only two Ps, of the marketing mix? Product and promotion, better described as communication of the brand's benefits, the points which differentiate the brand from its competitors, not four Ps, including price and place, not ten Ps, not twenty, just two Ps that matter. Most importantly, do you recognize that the much vaunted P's for price and place are not critical to building loyalty? Habit may be, loyalty never. Put the P's for price and place where they belong, on the short-term P&L line, not high on the loyalty building scale. And in the digitally dominated 21st century, do you see clearly where digital stands in this grand marketing design? Do you see digital for what it is, not an end in itself, but a means to the end which only we marketers can bring about, the creation of brand value? And as you look beyond the white heat of fashion and passion, and coldly assess digital for what it means to a marketer, do you see not a destructive force which breaks down and changes is absolutely everything about how we practice marketing, but just another medium of communication. Do you see, as we see, a technical triumph, of course, and one which has brought the whole world closer together, an awesome medium for transmitting messages across the planet in microseconds, with the capacity to elicit equally instantaneous response, but do you, as a marketer, see digital just as a medium? Do you see digital as the culmination of an ascent of media sophistication, starting in the cave with word of mouth? medium of choice for our hairy ancestors, progressing through scrolls of papyrus, tablets of stone, print in its many manifestations, traveling salesmen, billboards, radio and TV, and so back to a rediscovery of what was always the most powerful medium of persuasive communication, word of mouth, made possible again now on a global scale by the Internet. Do you see digital as a disruptive technology for sure, but still to the marketer just another medium of communication? Again, do you accept that any medium, if that is what digital is, 
The medium which carries the message to its target is a tool in the marketer's toolbox, important for sure, but still a tool and one of far less importance in the value creation process than the powers of persuasion of the message that it carries. Do you then disagree with the revered Marshall McLuhan's notorious pronouncement that the medium is the message and see clearly with us marketers that the message for marketers is the message and the medium for marketers is the medium and that means digital too. In summary, do you see yourself in total control of digital and view mastering digital as just one stepping stone on your uninterrupted career path to senior management? If you can truthfully answer yes to all these questions, you don't need me, and you certainly don't need us at the Cambridge School of Marketing Practice. Less still, you need to waste your time on our classes, however short, however compact, however free they may be. You are on your way to the top. Go get them. But if you cannot answer yes to all these questions, consider the possibility that we may have some answers to questions that plague you or may come to plague you, as they certainly plagued us granddads in our time as marketing managers. At the marketing coalface, where I spent nearly 50 years, all was never exactly straightforward. We always tended more to grope our way towards ill-defined goals than stride confidently towards a well-defined horizon. There was always fashion, TV in our time, always distractions, always complexity, and always confusion. If you are confused, you're not alone. We've been there, and we've suffered the same confusions and frustrations as you do, and we know many others who have. But we have found a way out. We've climbed the tree. We've conquered the maze. We've survived to tell the tale, and we're hoping that our experience could be of help to you. That's why we're here. We have devised a series of what we call Marketing Masterclasses. They are all on YouTube, they are all free, and they are all ad-free for now. Each class is short, generally two to three minutes, which is why we call them, somewhat mendaciously, two-minute masterclasses. They are deliberately provocative and challenge many fashionable assumptions about what constitutes effective marketing. They are all about the fundamentals of marketing, the rock on which our marketing careers are built, what marketing is, what it always has been. Marketing isn't new, of course. It has been with us since the cave at an intuitive level, what marketing is for and what marketing can do for society, for the economy, for business, and most important of all, for you. Above all, they are about what marketing must do, what marketers must do if we are to stay relevant to the needs of our fellow human beings and if we are to be judged as valuable by the communities in which we practice. But our first step must be to find our way out of the fog created by digital. We set the marketing objectives, do we not? And digital is only one of many tools we use to reach our goals, right? Right. But is that what is really happening? Are we in control or... Is there an extraterrestrial controlling us? Has digital taken over? The signs are there for all of us to see if we look closely. Apps, algorithms, data mining, customer relationship management, social networking, cloud marketing, Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, display, programmatics, search engine marketing, cost per thousand, Facebook, B2B, B2C, digital click-through, affiliate marketing, Amazon, HTML, Android, co-creation, ethics, Twitter, micro-targeting, serve-qual, coding, emails. Is digital setting our objectives now? It sure looks like it. So digital dominates, and if digital dominates, we marketers lose sight of our objectives. And that won't do. We marketers must get control back. We must get back to setting our marketing objectives. That's what we do, and that's what we're going to do if we pay heed to our past. We wouldn't expect you to plough straight through all 55 of our classes without a bit of orientation. In the second part of this session, we will try to give you that. Join us for Managing Your Way Through the Marketing Maze, Part 2.